my confidence never wavers. You know, I'm a guy who always believes in myself fully. You know, every time I step on the court, I, I feel like I'm the best player. You know, there's no doubt in my mind. But tonight we made a lot of mistakes. We lost down the stretch. We had so many opportunities to win the game. So it's definitely a disappointing night. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I felt connected right away when we started pra practicing. I feel like the spacing out there is a lot different than college basketball. And, uh, you know, having Big Mitch out there who just catches absolutely everything at the rim and a bunch of shooters, it makes the game real easy. The, the alley -oop that you threw there, the first possession to, to RJ, is that just as you talk about that connection, the, the chemistry developing, or is that more instant? No, that's definitely, you know, me and RJ played together since we were like seven, eight years old, so we got that. You know, I know what he likes to do. He knows what I like to do. So I knew if I threw that up there, he's going to go get it. Did you guys know coming into the game you wanted to run that right away? Right? Um, yeah, yeah. That, that was a coach coach call right there. How important is it for you to make a good impression on Yeah, um, you know, I just, it is important for sure. But I'm always just myself. You know, I'm always aggressive. I always make plays. It doesn't matter what stage I'm on. To me, it's all the same. It's just basketball. You know, it's. That's all it is at the end of the day, but I'm just grateful to be a New York Nick. I, I don't want to go nowhere else. It's such a great spot. He, he's one of the best players I've ever seen and played with, so it's, it's only a matter of time before he starts being himself and getting buckets. There's literally no doubt in my mind he's going to get there and very soon, too. How much does it help to have him? with you here going through this process together? It's great. It's, you know, it's a guy I grew up with, you know, having him there by my side and, and us together going through it is just, it increases the comfort level of, of being here. Hey, what's the team asking for from you this summer league? Um, just to be myself, you know, Coach Fizz talked to me. He said, you just got to be yourself and no one else. You know, don't be afraid to be aggressive. Don't be afraid to make your plays, do what you do. And, and uh, I really appreciated that. And, you know, with that kind of freedom, I felt, you know, I had the ability to do what I did tonight. It's been a couple games only, but what, what's, what have you noticed mostly about the difference in the NBA game? The spacing, it's a lot different. It's a lot different. The, the three-second rule, too. In college basketball, it's so compact and everyone's in the paint that it's hard to get in there. Here, it's... It's it's a lot it's a lot different. Would you say that's the most thing that you have the most difficult time to adjusting to? What in college, or just pro college pro? Yeah, I mean, in yeah, I feel like that's something I wasn't used to the first game. I was like, damn, there's a lot more space than I'm usually used to. So I feel like the set. I, I came into this game thinking like, just trust your instincts, play, be who you are, and that's what I did. How much does your aggressiveness make up for that when you're getting used to things and, and things changing, the spacing changing, but when you're not afraid to just keep attacking? Yeah, it's, it's, it's where I grew up. It's, it's, you know, I got my family's support. I've got close people behind me. I've, I've always had this kind of mentality where, you know, I, I, don't, I don't care what people think about me. So uh, I just got to be myself and I just want to win. That's it. That's, that's all I want to do.